Make sure you're meeting me in your Go Math book on page 295. We're gonna do numbers two through 11 together. Remember how we do these is I'm gonna read the problem to you and you are going to go ahead and work it out on your own. Come back to the video to check your work to make sure you got the right answer. You're gonna be putting in your answers in those little answer boxes. Make sure you're putting all of the answers in. So for example, for number two, you can see that there are four blanks. So I should see four numbers in your interactive video part where you have to put your answers in. Don't just put the first one. I need to see all four. Remember, I am going back and looking at these to decide which group you need to be in on Friday. So let's look at this. 179 divided by 10 to the zero power, 10 to the first power, 10 to the second, and 10 to the third. Go ahead, work it out, and come on back. Let's solve this one. We know the first answer is 179 because 10 to the zero power just means one. It stays the same. 10 to the first power, placing our decimal, moving it over one. That gets me 17 and 9 tenths. 10 to the second power, we're getting 100 times smaller, so we're going to move it over twice. 1, 2, 1 and 79 hundredths. 10 to the third power, moving it over third time, three times, 1,000 times smaller. 1, 2, 3, 0 and 179 thousandths. Looking good on that first one. I hope you got it right. Number three, go ahead and work it out and come on back. Let's look at this one. As always, the first one is going to be 87 and 5 tenths because 10 to the 0 is 1. Now, 87 and 5 tenths divided by 10 to the first. Remember, divided by 10, we're trying to get smaller. We want to get 10 times smaller. Moving that decimal point, 1 to the left. That gets me 8 and 75 hundredths. Now, divided by 10 to the second power, that I want to get 100 times smaller. Moving it two places to the left, that's going to get me 875 thousandths. If any of these are looking a little too confusing or you got the first two wrong, go ahead and view the video before this. You can go again how to solve it. And if you're still having questions, come back to the Google Meet so you can ask me. All right, 124 divided by 1, we know that's 124. 124 divided by 10, we want to get 10 times smaller. So we're going to place our decimal, move it one to the left. I didn't give you time to work this one out, so go ahead and work out the rest of these. Now let's finish going over it. We're going to get 12 and 4 tenths. 100 times smaller, 1, 2, 1 and 24 hundredths. 1,000 times smaller, place that decimal. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 124 thousandths. Let's do the next one. Go ahead and work it out. 18 divided by 1 is 18. 18 divided by 10, we want to go 10 times smaller than 18 because we're dividing. So we're going to place the decimal after it. We're going to swoop it over 1 to the left. Get me 1 and 8 tenths. Let's keep looking. This one's going to get interesting. 18 divided by 100, 100 times smaller, swoop twice, 18 hundredths, 1,000 times smaller. Place your decimal, swoop one, two, three. This one gets a little bit tricky. Your zero goes in front, and then you have a blank space here. You need to add another zero. So you have 18 thousandths for that one. I hope you got that one right. It was a little bit trickier. Number six, go ahead and work it out. Remember, we're doing two through 11. So go ahead and work out number six. Let's do it. 16 divided by 10 to the zero, we know is 16. 16 divided by 10 to the first power. Place that decimal at the end, move it in one, one and six tenths. 16 divided by 10 to the second. This is just like the one above it. It's good practice for you. I hope you're getting them right. Place your decimal, swoop twice, 16 hundredths. 16 divided by 10 to the third power, place your decimal, one, two, three swoops to the left, 16 thousandths. Check your work, make sure you're getting them correct. Number seven, go work it out. 51 and 8 tenths divided by one, we know is gonna say 51 and 8 tenths. 51 and 8 tenths divided by 10, we're just gonna swoop that decimal point one to the left. Why to the left? Because we're dividing. Dividing makes it smaller. Want to get those numbers smaller? 5 and 18 hundredths. Five, 51 and 8 tenths divided by 100. Swoop twice to the left. That's going to get me 518 thousandths. Here's number 8. Go ahead and work it out. Let's do this one. We know that 49 and 3 tenths divided by 10 to the 0 is 49 and 3 tenths. We know that. 
49 three tenths divided by 10 to the first. We know we're going to swoop it one time. That's going to get me four and 93 hundredths. Then 49 three tenths divided by 10 to the second. We're going to swoop it twice. That's going to get me 493 thousandths. Looking great. Keep on going. Number nine. This is the last one before you get to those word problems. Go ahead and go over it. I meant go ahead and go do it. Now let's go over it. 32 and 4 tenths divided by 10 to the 0 we know is just 32 and 4 tenths. 32 and 4 tenths divided by 10 to the 1st. Whoop it once to the left because we're getting 10 times smaller. 3 and 24 hundredths. 32 and 4 tenths divided by 10 to the 2nd. Whoop it twice because we're getting 100 times smaller. 0 and 324 thousandths. Whew, that was a lot of words. Let's do two word problems before we get some more independent practice in. The local cafe uses 510 cups of mixed vegetables. They said cafe. I got excited. I thought it was coffee. It's not. To make 1,000 quarts of beef barley soup, each quart of soup contains the same amount of vegetables. How many cups of vegetables are in each quart of soup? That sounds like a really complicated problem, but we think about it. We've got 510 cups divided among 1,000 quarts of soup. So it becomes super easy. All we're going to do is move our decimal point. We've got three zeros. So we know we're going to put our decimal point at the end. You're supposed to be working this out on your own. So we're going to work the next one out on your own. How about that? We're going to swoop in one, two, three. So our answer is going to be 510 thousandths. Remember, we can cross out that last zero and say 51 hundredths. Pretty simple. It looked a little wordy, but it was easy once we thought about it. Now let's look at number 11. You're going to work this one out on your own. The same cafe uses 18 and 5 tenths cups of flour to make 100 servings of pancakes. How many cups of flour in one serving of pancakes? Go ahead and work that out, that one out, and come on back. We're going to set this one up just like the last one. They've got 18 and 5 tenths cups of flour that they want to divide among 100 servings of pancakes. So all we're going to do is count how many times we need to move our decimal. Remember, if we're dividing by 100, we're getting smaller, so we're going to move our decimal to the left. We've got two zeros, so we're going to move it twice. One, two. So our answer is going to be 185 thousandths of a cup of flour. I would not want to calculate how much flour that was. If you have any questions about any of these or you missed any of them, make sure you're going back and reviewing this video or the video before it or coming and seeing me on the Google Meet to make sure that we can answer all of your questions.